with 2015's Dragon Ball Z Resurrection F, a.k.a. Fukatsuno F, debuting a brand new, fully evolved, full power Super Saiyan God form with blue hair. I decided to look back and go inside the origins and tropes of the previous forms and give some insight that you may or may not know on this golden-haired edition of Dragon Ball in depth. この放送はご覧のスポンサーの提供でお送りします。On March 9th, 1991, the fourth Dragon Ball Z motion picture premiered in theaters across Japan and at the 1991 Toei Anime Fair. The film was Super Saiyan Jinda Son Goku, translated as Super Saiyan Son Goku, also known as Lord Slug in North America, and was Japan's first visual look at a possible Super Saiyan transformation. Goku had attained a golden aura, but his hair remained black. The reason for this is because Akira Toriyama had not yet informed the anime staff of Goku's completed transform look, and thus their conception wasn't exact with what Toriyama had in mind, but it was close. The Dragon Ball guidebooks list this as pseudo Super Saiyan, and is commonly called fake or false Super Saiyan from the community. The Golden Aura would, of course, be teased during Goku's fight with Captain Ginyu. Goku's first real transformation occurred in chapter 317 of the manga, which came out on March 19, 1991, a mere 10 days after the film premiered. Frieza himself states that Saiyans should only be able to transform into great apes, in disbelief that the legend that he feared was indeed a reality. The Dragon Ball Super Exciting Guidebook lists this transformation as giving you a 50 times multiplier. So, even Frieza in his final form at 100% power stood no chance. As the series progressed beyond the Frieza arc and into the Cell arc, we discovered that the form was attainable as long as one had Saiyan blood, and thus Goku, Vegeta, Future Trunks, and Gohan all achieved it at different times throughout the arc. In DBZ episode 147, These four converse atop a mountain, and Goku and Vegeta both reveal that they believe they could achieve a power even greater than that of a Super Saiyan and thus begin their training in the Room of Spirit and Time. This brings us to what many watchers of the Funimation dub refer to as the Ascended Saiyans form. Ascended is a complete dub term that does not exist in any other version of Dragon Ball, including the Japanese anime and manga, and was completely made up by Funimation. And I don't like when they do that. But let's break it down simple. The form that Vegeta uses to curb stomp second form cell is known in Japan as Super Saiyan Grade 2 or Phase 2. Vegeta achieved this in the Room of Spirit and Time, likely with heavy hypertrophy training. This form is a faster and stronger version of the Super Saiyan with enlarged muscles and debuted in Dragon Ball Z episode 155. He even called himself Super Vegeta. Vegeta, you're always super, in my eyes. Then there's Super Saiyan Grade 3, or Phase 3, its fan name being Ultra Super Saiyan, was the form Trunks used to compete head to head with Perfect Cell. This form likely utilized an even greater hypertrophy training with larger muscles and a much greater output of energy. This form is 100% bulk, 100% strength based, but at a cost. Although Trunks is not only stronger than his father, but also stronger than Cell, as Cell himself admits, his large energy output and oversized muscles decreased his speed tremendously. Cell actually demonstrates this himself. After failing to land any blows on Cell, Trunks himself laments at the fact that he now understood why his father slowed down his training in the Room of Spirit and Time. He was aware of the drawback. It is unknown as to whether or not Vegeta actually achieved this form or not. I'm pretty sure that he did, but chose not to use it because of the aforementioned issue with the form. Goku, of course, Successfully attained all three of these. 
Then there's Super Saiyan Grade 4, otherwise known as Full Super Saiyan or Full Power Super Saiyan. At the same time Trunks and Cell are doing battle, Goku reveals to Gohan in the middle of their training that he did indeed surpass the Super Saiyan, but it was not enough. Beerus called Goku a fighting genius at the end of Battle of Gods, and there is a good example of why right here. Goku explains to Gohan that if they can force their bodies to become naturally accustomed to being in their transformed form at all times, 24 hours a day, they will consume less ki and allow their body to not strain and also allow an increase in stamina. Although not as physically strong as grade 3, grade 4 stamina boost more than makes up for it. Then there's Super Saiyan 2. The Super Saiyan Beyond Super Saiyan. The Super Exciting Guide lists this as being double the strength of SSJ-1 and 100 times normal strength. Now obviously everybody knows that Gohan achieves this during his fight with Cell in the Cell game in episode 184 of the TV show and manga chapter 480, even though it was teased in the Rue of Spirit and Time. But what you may not know is that it was never referred to as Super Saiyan 2 until Goku's confrontation with Majin Buu above West City, which was manga chapter 474 and TV show episode 245. So what did the Japanese fans reading and watching this know it as? Super Saiyan Grade 5. Herms from Kanzenshu explains that there was a very rare book published on May 31st, 1993 that speaks of this in great detail, the anime comics version of the Trunks special, and that's where it's referred to as Grade 5. SSJ2 is dramatically higher than any form before it in power, speed, stamina, and durability. The hair is now thinner, and much like Trunks in Grade 3, there's tons of energy and lightning, but there are no drawbacks. During the time gap between the Cell Saga and the Buu Saga, Goku and Vegeta were both able to reach this level. Even though it has been debated that Vegeta did not achieve this form without the upgrade from Bobby D, there is no way to actually confirm that, and I find it very hard to believe that after 7 years of training that Vegeta wasn't able to tap into it. I find that hard to believe. Many feel of the original three forms, this is the best for stamina in combat. That concludes part one. Next time we will delve into Super Saiyan 3, 4, God, and more. And yes, Brawly will be mentioned. We're going to get very colorful. We're going to get red, blue, yellow, black, and yes, even green on Dragon Ball in Death.